I hired the best Minecraft builders in the world to make the most insane builds ever. And each build was given a time limit anywhere from one hour to 1,000 hours. Starting with this medieval fort that took one hour to build. Oh. Hey, yo. Wait, one hour? When you said one hour, I was expecting it to be like... Like a little play fort. Wait, where are the uh, little birds up here? Wait. Oh, and the back has a little, like, uh, little gate. No inside, but we did only give them one hour. So. I mean, I feel like for one hour, they built this much, which is crazy. This is large for one hour. Well, there's not really much to go off of for this one. So what do you guys want to rate it on a scale of one to 10? Uh, I'm going to give it a seven. I'm giving this a six out of 10. And I'm going to give it a six out of 10 also. Giving it a total score of 19 out of 30 points. Technically in the lead. That's not bad. Whichever build is rated the highest by the end of this video gets a $1,000 tip on top of what we already paid them. Money. Up next is a pirate ship house that took 10 hours to build. Oh, wow. Oh, what a step up. Oh my gosh. I feel like off the bat, I'm just realizing how bad I am at building. Yeah. <laughs> Give me 200 hours of not building this. Guys, there's a crab. Wait, look, there's a cave with a bunch of treasure. That's a cool touch. Oh, dude. Oh, whoa. Yeah, dude, they have like a cave with glowing stuff. They have like a whole custom ocean around it with rocks and trees. Their prompt was a pirate house, and I think they did a pretty good job at it, to be fair. Like, this is crazy to me. This one does have an interior. There's not much furniture added to it, though. I don't know. I don't know if this is 10 times of a cooler build. Wally, what are you giving us out of 10? I'm going to go with a 6. Yeah, I'll go with a 6, too. Okay, a 6.2. And then I'm also going to give this a 6.2. That's not what I said. At an 18.4, which is actually 0.6 points behind that first castle. But will the castle beat out this space station that took 50 hours to build? Oh, man. Oh. oh, now we are talking. Dude. This is beautiful. The only prompt I gave them was a space station and that they had 50 hours to build it. This is so gorgeous. Look at this ship. It's got dual laser shooters, bro. That is so cool. Wait, how did they even do this? Guys, they have an interior. Check it out. Oh, come on. Oh, we're bra I'm breaking in there. I'm about to blow up the world. No! Wait, how, how big is this interior? I'm, I'm exploring right Dude, now. Dude, this is actually awesome. There's so much going on. There's like a lot to explore in this build. But to be fair, this did take 50 hours for them to build, so... Then there's like an underside of it, too? It's actually so sick. I actually love this. This just keeps going forever and ever. I can see myself living in this. Dude, the planets are humongous bonus points. I'm a big guy to some atmosphere. Dude, look, wait. What if I told you only two dudes did this? Okay, I think we've been exploring this far long enough. What are you guys going to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Dude, I'm going to be honest. I love this build. I'm going to give it an 8. With 50... 50 hours and this prompt, I don't see many places they could have done a better job. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Oh, 9? It loses one point because all of the planets that are surrounding it kind of look similar to each other. I'm just blown away by the fact it was done by only two people. I will give it a 9 out of 10. Oh! Whoa! Which gives us a total score of 26 out of 30, obliterating the rest of the build so far. It is currently in the lead, but will it beat this Mars colony that literally took 100 hours to build? Whoa, okay. Wait, look at this like holographic earth. Do you guys see this? That is so cool. These builders are so talented. Keep in mind, guys, while we're looking through this one, this took exactly double the amount of time as that space station. Well, I'm inside this, like, tree dome place. This is sick. There's a massive tree in here. I love the way that they used ferns to have, like, hanging vines. My character looks so sick in this. If I press the red button on Carl's chest, does he explode? I hope so. Beep. There's tons of custom terrain. It's a huge, complete map. There's like so much to explore. Wait, there was a giant spaceship on top of all this thing and I didn't even notice it? Gotta see if the spaceship has an interior. Uh-oh. Yeah, there is a lack of interiors here. No way. No interior is definitely a downside. I've looked around enough. Do you guys think this beats out the space station that took 50 hours to build? 
honestly, I think I like the space station better. I'm gonna give this one a 7.5. Yeah, I like the space station a tiny bit better. I'm giving it an 8. I'm gonna give this an 8 as well, which leaves it at a 23.5, barely losing to the space station. And there's only two builds left, one of which being this steampunk city that took 500 hours to build. Oh, oh I'm lagging. Help, 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 help. Mine ran out of memory. I got kicked. That's how you can tell how impressive this build is. It literally lagged them both out of the server. Oh my gosh, look at this. This guy is chugging on some drink. I feel like this is itching my brain in all the correct places. So does it look like it took five times the amount of time as the Mars colony? That's the question. I feel like this one is much more detailed, but it's not necessarily like five times crazier, you know? The statues are the best part. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. What? There's no interior? Oh no. 500 hours they couldn't build an interior? I'm flying through a lot of these buildings and they're all hollow. They probably should have focused less on these really cool statues and focused a little bit more on the insides of the buildings. I agree. Yeah, I feel like the interiors make it all feel alive and make it all come together, you know? I'm going to give this a 7. I'm going to give it a 6.5. I'm giving it a 6. Which gives it a 19.5, leaving the space station as the leader with only one build left. It's a gigantic medieval city that took 1,000 hours to build. Yo. I feel like I just need to take some time to like go around and explore. Look at I'm holding a shield that says KJ. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. There's like characters walking around. That's such a cool detail. Oh, I found a guy drowning. I, I got you, man. I got you. Oh no. This whole village looks like it's like super lived in. Oh my gosh, guys. There's a thief running away with a gold block. Wait, guys, look. Aww. He's telling them a Christmas story. Is this like a mage casting a spell? Yo, what is this? I'm just looking around at everything. Look at that tree, dude. It's the biggest tree I've ever seen in my life. I want to live at this castle, man. Look at how beautiful it is right here. Look at the attention to detail of this sidewalk. Guys, there's interiors. There's a guy like holding drinks. Yeah, I'll like, take one. What? Oh my gosh. I actually feel like I'm going to get lost in here. <gasps> dude, look, you guys are here. I'm the ruler. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh wait, they invite. Uh. Oh, they invited Nolan. Minus points. But then they invited Foolish, so plus points again. Wait, there's a city outside of the walls too. I feel like there's so many things I'm literally just not gonna be able to notice. There's a Colosseum. What? Is that a Mr. Beast versus like a snake or something? No, there's, there's a there's like this giant lighthouse. Look at this like the detail on like the arches on the side of it. They even made a pirate ship, almost better than the pirate ship at the beginning of this video. It's like every single section of this island has purpose. Dude, I could just fly around for ages and looking at this. It's so pretty to look at. Keep in mind, while you guys are thinking about raiding it, this did take one thousand thousand hours to build even with 1000 hours i feel like it's more than double the last one everywhere i look so i find something new and it grows on me even more this is a gorgeous and stunning build but is it the same amount of bang for your buck as the space station that only took 50 hours to build wally what are you giving it on a scale of one to ten it gives 1000 hours of entertainment so i'm gonna give this build a 10 out of 10. Oh, a 10? Oh! I don't care that it took a thousand hours. I don't care how many hours it took. I'm giving this thing a 10. For bang for your buck, to me, it's only slightly worse than the 50 hour space station. So I'm gonna give it an eight, which puts this officially in the lead with 28 points, beating the space station only by two points. Congratulations to the build team on their thousand dollar tip. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.